Welcome to Spielberg for another exciting Formula One race. This circuit is renowned for its backdrop, surrounded by natural beauty, and it certainly is an idyllic destination for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then, with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Carlos Sainz and Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, Magnussen, Norris, Mick Schumacher and Ricardo, Vettel, Joe, Alex Albon, and Lance Stroll. Latifi and Sergio Perez completes our grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Okay, incredible parking there, nice one.
Max Schumacher just ahead, push for the position. Stroll behind. OK, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh songs. 16 laps now until your pit window opens.
seventh, that's 11th place. Bottas ahead, less than a second separates you. Okay, they're on old softs. Norris behind. Okay, they're on old softs. Our gap to first place is 14.7 seconds. You've got 11 laps until your pit window opens.
side. Yeah, that's it, good.
away. Be aware, the grip levels are going to start falling away soon. Check out, we think front wing, we think front wing. Mind that front wing, he's going to need replacing if it takes too much damage. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. There's a new strategy available on the MFT. Got that, confirmed.
front is 1.4 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. OK, their tyres are seven laps old. OK, we think they've got two stops remaining. Two stops remaining. The car ahead has some front wing damage, but it's not losing too much pace yet. Just be aware. The last lap time was a 1 minute 10.9. Max is coming in for his stop. Ahead is 
6.1 seconds. OK, they're on old hard tyres. Alonso behind you now. Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh softs. OK, so gap to the leader is 36.8 seconds. You've got 11 laps until your pit window opens. OK, 47 laps to go.
gate, Sites is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 17.0 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. The tyres are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 08.9. Right, you're falling back by one tenth a lap. back by about three tenths a lap, well done. seconds. OK, they're on old softs. OK, their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The last lap time was a 1.09.0. OK, you're dropping back by around two tenths each lap.
concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 16.9 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. OK, they've done 10 laps on those tyres. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap was a 1 minute 09.4. We're gaining by around two tenths per lap. Keep going. Windows open, so let's box this lap, box this lap. Tire condition still looking good. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Oh, 
ahead seven seconds up the road on you.
car ahead is 20.6 seconds. behind you now. Our gap behind is 5.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tyres are eight laps old. 
for the time last lap was a 1 minute 08.5 and the gap to the car in front is 21.0 seconds. on those tyres. Time last lap was a 1 minute 08.7. Our gap to the car in front is 20.7 seconds. on those tyres now, and the time last lap was a 1.08.8. Okay, so you're gaining by one tenth a lap.
P3, P3, well done. OK, Sainz is ahead of you. And gap to the car in front is 19.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. That's Max behind you now. And the gap behind us is 5.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, so gap to the leader is 26.5 seconds. Look after these tyres now and we'll finish the race on this compound. OK, gap to the car ahead is 19.1 seconds. Point six seconds.
ahead of you. OK, gaps of the car ahead is 2.6 seconds. They're on fresh softs. That's Max behind you now. OK, so the gaps of the car behind is 5.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. The distance to the leader is 16.7 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Right, 15 laps still remaining.
Okay, you've got P3, P3, well done. Leclerc is ahead of you. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 9.0 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Car behind is Max. And the gap behind us is 3.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, gap to leader, 16.0 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Okay, we're into the last 10 laps now. So the gap to the car behind is 2.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, they've done 25 laps on their tyres. And the time last lap was a 2.5 seconds.
Okay, gap ahead is 12.3 seconds.
you on the podium. Vitaud on. Vitaud job. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Ah, uh, guys. Thank you. We wanted more day, I know. But it was impossible. Thanks to all the fans. This is an amazing day. Thank you, guys. Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here in Spielberg. And rightly so. A brilliant effort from the whole team. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, you can't fault anything that Sergio Perez did out on the track today. He drove flawlessly, making him an easy pick. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.